Hello friends, today we are going to discuss depth first search in graph. It is also in short called DFS. Okay, so primarily in graph there are uh, two type of traversals. One is DFS and one is BFS. So today we will see the BFS using non-recursive approach and in another video we will discuss about uh, DFS using recursion and BFS okay so if you are new to graphs uh, we have another video where we have discussed about what is graph and its representations uh, I'll leave the link in the description you can uh, visit that video first and then come back okay so let's let's get started so <clears throat> in DFS let's first read the definition so what is DFS so DFS is an algorithm for traversing or searching tree or graph so we have a, a dfs uh, a traversal in tree as well i'll leave the link in the description and uh, or graph data structures one starts at the root selecting some arbitrary node as root in case of graph and explore as far as possible along one branch before backtracking okay so we start from one node usually it's root so we start from one node and when using one branch we can go as deep as possible and then we backtrack okay we have we have created a separate video about the backtracking um, you can you can visit that video um, if if you don't know what backtracking is again i leave the link in the description okay so here the <coughs> um, if we if we consider zero as a root and if we start the dfs so from zero we can go to one and then one we can go to three right from three we can go to four from four we can go to five from five we cannot go any further right so now we will backtrack we will backtrack so from for, for from 4 uh, we can go to 0 but 0 is already uh, visited so from 3 we cannot go anywhere uh, from 1 we can go to 2 so we'll traverse 2 so what is the dfs this is 0 1 3 4 5 and 2 0 1 3 4 5 2 Another important thing is there are more than one DFS routes um, in a given graph. So for example, from zero, we can go to one, right? Or then one, we can go to two. <clears throat> and two, from two, we can go to three and three to four and four to five. This is also a DFS. Or from zero, we can directly go to two. And then from two, we can only go to three three four five so zero two three four five and then when we backtrack from two we can go to one so this is zero two three four five and one so this is another dfs okay so <coughs> let's uh, let's discuss how we can uh, solve this so this is the same example which we have just seen uh, same same graph so um, whenever we talk about DFS okay it uses a stack okay similarly when we talk about BFS it uses Q so DFS stack BFS Q okay so we can take a stack here uh, let's make a stack here so let's say this is uh, our stack okay and now we are starting with um, this is our root so we'll start from zero so first we'll add zero to a stack okay and then um, we extract zero so this is our dfs this is going to be output and also we are going to maintain 
um, the, the nodes which we have already visited for example from 3 uh, to 3 uh, we can go from 1 to 3 right and from and same time we can go from 2 to 3 right so we will mark the node visited once we visit that node okay so that um, we won't visit that node again okay so from 0 we can go to 1 3 4 5 right and then when we backtrack from 1 we can go to 2 and then from 2 we can go to 3 but 3 is already visited so we'll avoid that so we will also man maintain a list right so we will man maintain a list where we say what node we have visited so we have visited 0 we have so we have put 0 to stack take out from stack put it in the dfs and mark 0 as visited okay and once we take out we will put all the neighbors of 0 to the stack neighbors means all the nodes you can visit from root from uh, from the current node the one you have extracted from the stack so we extracted 0 so from 0 we can go to 1 and we can go to 2 okay so we'll add 1 and we'll add 2 to the stack okay okay so now we have added all the nodes or vertices which we can traverse from 0 so now it's time to extract another node from stack so we know the stack is last in first out that means the element which goes last first out uh, comes out first okay so we'll extract two so we'll put two here okay and mark two as visited and then put uh, all the nodes which you can traverse visit from two okay so from two we can go to three so we will put three here okay now uh, time to extract another node so we'll extract three put three here mark three as visited so we started from here here now we are at three so now it's time to add all the vertex which you can traverse from three so from three you can go only to four so we'll add four right now extract a node from stack print it mark it visited okay <coughs> and add all the nodes which you can traverse from four so we can from four we can go to zero but zero is already visited so we'll not add zero okay that's why we were maintaining this visited list okay so apart from zero from four you can go to five so we'll add five here in the stack okay so now we'll extract another node uh, from the stack so that would be five so we'll put five here five here visited and now uh, from 5 we cannot go anywhere so uh, extract the next node from the stack so that is 1 so we'll take out 1 put 1 here so at this point our stack is empty and our gra graph is traversed so our DFS is completed okay so this is the DFS so it depends in which order you are adding the nodes you are adding the neighbor nodes to the stack so from when we started from zero we added one and two had we added two and one our dfs would have been was zero one three four five and two this is also correct okay so let's go back to our uh, problem uh, so let's go back to the uh, problem so let's read out the approach uh, use a stack 
add the first starting node to the stack usually we call the starting node as root most of the time pop out an element from the stack add all its connected nodes to the stack here the connected means the all the nodes you can traverse okay from that uh, node repeat the above two steps until the stack is empty will is the walk through okay so yeah this is the this is the walk through of the same example same graph here so this stack push 0 we starting from 0 so 0 pop 0 push 2 1 so push 2 1 and the dfs is 0 so this is the same example you can you can see that um, uh, in the article link i'll i'll leave in the in the description okay so this is this is the implementation okay so yeah first look at our uh, graph class so number of vertex and uh, the number of adjacency here we are using uh, adjacency list uh, we have discussed uh, earlier that graph is can be represented using adjacency list or matrix uh, here we are using the matrix okay so this is the constructor which takes the number of vertex and then initialize a link list um, for each vertex okay and that will store the nodes you can traverse from uh, from that vertex okay and this is add edge so we are in the link list of source right we are adding a destination so if there is like this from from zero we can go to one so source will be zero and destination would be one and we are adding an edge so we are saying from source zero link list i'm adding a destination that is one okay so we have discussed that in detail uh, in our graphs and representation video okay now this is dfs okay so here we are using um, uh, uh, visited boolean array uh, to uh, to mark a node visited okay to keep track of what nodes uh, we have visited to, during dfs okay so since here i think we are taking numbers uh, as a vertex 0 1 2 3 4 5 so in visited array uh, so it's number of vertices so here it is uh, total six okay so these are six so this is six so we have initialized a boolean array of size six okay so when we say index zero as true that means that node is visited okay and we are taking a stack we are initializing a stack okay and we are we are traversing all the nodes and we are starting from um, from zero so ch check if the node is not visited that means visited of zero is false push it push that node to stack okay so at stack we have added zero at this point okay and mark the uh, mark that node as visited mark that node in the visited array as true so visited array so visited of zero is equal to true so this node is visited now while the stack is not empty take out uh, pop the node from the stack so here that that is zero initially it would be zero because we are starting from zero so print that now traverse um, get all the nodes you can traverse from zero so from zero in the example we can go to one we can go to two so these are the uh, these nodes will be there in the linked list of node zero 
so add those in the stack before adding so we are here we are traversing the linked list for which the source is um, zero right get the size traverse this is the destination and if it is not visited okay this is important that's why we are maintaining the visited uh, array here so if it is not visited push it to stack and mark that node as visited that means it's already added to stack okay so yeah this is this is the java code uh, for the df graph dfs uh, now we can now we can run this code okay okay so the graph um, dfs is 0 1 3 4 5 2 mm -hmm. so that's a, that's the same graph which uh, we just saw okay so let's say if we change the order like 2 and 1 so now it's it is 0 2 3 4 5 1 okay it's it's the same graph so mm -hmm. from 0 we can go to 2 and 0 we can go to 1 I, I've just changed the order and uh, the DFS has changed so this is also this is also correct okay so yeah this is uh, this is about the uh, graph DFS traversal uh, using stack okay and now we can mark this article is completed visit our website tutorialhorizon.com uh, for more interesting problem uh, see you guys in the next video bye bye